Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to install Minecraft Java Edition. Yes, I already have Pocket Edition on here, so we're not going to be doing that. I'll make another video on that eventually. Java Edition through Pojav Launcher on your Amazon Fire Stick or Amazon Fire TV based, uh, you know, TV. So what you're going to need, a Fire TV Stick or Fire TV based television power adapter to run that. You'll need a Fire TV or remote, a PS4 or Bluetooth game controller for the Minecraft, you know, like the actual Minecraft installation, and you'll need internet access and a few apps. So let's go over the apps you'll need first. So go into your app section. You'll see that I have, you're going to need Downloader and Toll Commander. Those are the only two you'll need for the. Those are the only two tools you'll need for this. So I'm gonna we're gonna open Downloader. Sorry, I would be doing screen recording right now, but I forgot my capture card, so I can't. So in Downloader, do I have a? Ah, oh, dang, I don't have a. Okay, anyways, I don't have a history on here and I can't go back to the link so I will go grab the link and get right back to you. Okay, what you're, the link you're gonna need to go to is po I'll just type it and then reverse it. Okay, so the link you'll need is this shown at the top of the screen. If you need to, take a moment and pause it to get the link. And take a screenshot. If you're on an iPhone, you can just press the little copy text button. But other than that, take your remote and navigate to the Android. Go to GitHub Actions. Click on it. Go down. And download the latest artifact using the nightly.link. It'll start downloading and just wait for it to finish downloading and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, now after it has finished downloading, it'll show something like this. Don't hit open because it's a .zip file and I'll show you what to do next. So hit done, then on your Amazon remote, hit home. Now, go to the store. I already have the app, but just go to find and then hit search and then search for the Total Commander app. After that, go to the Total Commander app. What the heck? Oops. Hang on, I already did this before, so that's why you're seeing all this. So go to the Total Commander app, go to Downloader Files, Downloader, go to the .zip file, open it, and then click the app-debug.apk file. Click Unpack plus Open with file, file colon slash slash URL. Wait for it to unpack the APK into a temporary folder so that it can actually install it. Now you'll go to this screen, which says unknown. Now, before you actually are able to install this, you have to go to settings, developer, and enable, and enable installing applications from unknown sources, specifically for downloader and uh, total commander. Hit install. Continue it after it installs, you'll get this screen. After that, you can either hit open or done. I like to hit done, go home, then go to here. And then I, this is it. It does not have a label by default, so I like to just move it and then move it right up next to my Minecraft Pocket Edition install, which I will show you how to do in another video. After that, uh, crap. Sorry about that, I accidentally opened Pocket Edition. After that, go into here. And then you'll want to hit, do not hit deny or else it will not work. Hit allow. This allows Pojav Launcher to access all your files and allows it to actually, you know, install the instance of Minecraft onto your little Fire TV. Now, I will say before you start, before you start doing any of this, pair a Bluetooth controller, like a PS4 controller or PS5, I think PS5 controllers, Xbox controllers could work, 
Uh, I just use PS4 controllers because it's what I have lying around. I I don't think Switch controllers work. I've tried. They just refuse. So, after that, it, it's a little bit weird to navigate. So, go. At first, it'll be up at this add account thing. Uh, you don't have to add an account. You can do an offline account. So, I'll just hit add account, add account. Okay, or not. It'll just be here and you won't see the cursor. So, just hit down, 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 down down over till you see it at the little pencil and go over one more and it'll be at play hit play that's going to ask you go to a local account i'm just going to enter a random username this can literally be anything For, demo for demonstrative purposes, purposes, I'm just going to do that. And now just hit login. It'll say login done. Now go all the way back down. Now go to play. Hit play. It will now download files. You'll see a gray screen. You'll see all this. If it says that, just hit OK. It usually works just fine. And now, first time setup takes a very long time, so I'll continue when it's done. Okay, after all that, if you have your controller paired, it'll ask you to press A, which in this case is going to be X. Press B, which in this case is going to be O, but with an Xbox controller, it'll be a lot less confusing. I'm just going to go through the setup. It's very, very self-explanatory, and you'll be able to figure it out in no time. After that, it's basically ready to go. So I'll just hit single player. I have a few words on, worlds on here already because I already did this once. So it'll you'll create a world, but other than that, it's basically just create a world. And it's ba it's not really usable. It's more project. After loading into the world, you'll get something like this. Now it's not super quick. I'm not gonna say that, but it, 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 it's. More of just a project, it's something fun to do on the weekend, and just kind of like jailbreak your little fire stick. If you have an extra one laying around, you can do this with it, and yeah, it just kind of works. There's not really many questions asked, it just kind of goes. It doesn't run super smooth, but it doesn't run bad at all, so anyways. That's been the guide on how to install Minecraft Java Edition. If you have any questions, I'll try to leave the comments on. Usually it doesn't allow me to turn the comments on, I don't know why, so anyways, have a good day. Subscribe and like. Don't forget. Don't forget that, please. Anyways, bye.